What's up everybody, I'm Johan Wolbrink and I'm one of the electrical product specialists here at NEF. Today I want to talk to you guys about the world's first safety rated radar system from Leutze, known as the LBK. Unlike conventional laser scanners, this sensor offers you a three-dimensional view into your process with a one to four meter sensing range that gives you a CAT2 PLD safety rating. One of the major benefits of using the LBK sensor is its resistance to harsh environments. It can actually sense through thin non-metallic materials such as dust, oil, or even weld slag. To demonstrate that, I'm going to take a piece of bubble wrap and drop it in front of the sensor. Since the bubble wrap is non-metallic, the sensor can actually sense through the material and in which not fault the, se the sensor. As you can see, the sensor was not faulted, but when I move my hand in front of it, it then faults it. The sensor itself has two modes. Those two modes are restart prevention and access protection. Restart prevention is used when you want to do a scan of an area before starting a process. A good example of that would be a robot cell. You can place the sensors inside that cell and do a three-dimensional scan of that cell before starting a process. That's good in case someone had happened to walk into that robot cell and the door was closed behind them, and thus the machine could still start up and you would not know it. Another good example of using restart prevention is for palletization machines that need to have access for fork trucks. Traditionally, we see light curtains that will be muted to allow the fork truck in and out of that machine. Well, people could still get in that machine when those light curtains are muted. By adding these sensors, you can do a full 3D scan of that palletizer before it even starts its process, ensuring that there is nobody in that palletizer before it starts. This mode is used when we want to prevent people from going into a dangerous zone while the machine is in process. A good example of that would be a weld cell, where you need to have access for operators to go in and out of the machine in between cycles. Another good example of that would be CNC mills that you need to have operators have access to in between cycles as well. Now that we've covered the sensors and their functions, let's dive into the software. The software can be downloaded for free from Lloyd's website that uses this inspect program. When you open it up for the first time, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna have it be opened on your dashboard. It's gonna show that you have your controller and your two sensors, and then it gives you green check marks telling you that everything's connected properly and you have no errors. For the first time you set it up, I usually recommend going to the validation tab. On the validation tab, I usually hit start validation. And what this does is the sensors are going to look out and see how much space they have. So this is a good way to get an idea of to what you should set your distances to be as far as what your warning fields are and what your protective fields should be. So you can see here we got about three and a half meters to the wall and then the signals coming back. So it's a good way to get an idea of how much space you have and where you should set your distances to be at. So once I hit stop, I can come here to the configuration tab. So if you click on these sex sensors, you can actually see those functions. You're gonna set them right there. So restart prevention, I'm just gonna click that. It's just gonna change my, my angle of resolution here. So it gives you 110 degrees by 30 degrees. And when you go back to access protection, it's gonna give you an option where you can set it down to 50 degrees by 15 degrees. So you can set how large that window is that these sensors are gonna be sensing out, which is kind of handy. Another cool thing about this configuration tab is you can move these sensors around however you like. It also gives you the option to upload an image. So you can actually upload your machine layout or your floor layout, and you can actually put these sensors exactly how you'd want them. And you can angle them however you like. So you can see I can rotate them just like that. And then right here, it gives you the option to set your distances. So I can set my warning field all the way out to four meters. And then I can set, well, it's three meters, but it adds the one meter from the, from the sensor here in your protective zone and you can adjust those however you, however you please. Same for your, your protective zone. Other than that, you can actually ping the sensors. So here I can come and click sensor one, and I can blink LED. So now if you take a look at my sensor one, the LED is gonna be blinking on that. So that's cool if you guys are trying to figure out what sensor is what and how you have them laid out. Once you actually put them on the machines, you can actually ping them to see which one's what. Another thing you can change on these is the sensitivity. So under uh, settings and sensors, you can actually change the sensitivity, normal, high, and very high. I normally set it at normal because very high becomes extremely touchy and can be really difficult to set. Very high is a good setting for restart prevention because you can actually sense people's chest coming in and out if someone was knocked unconscious. The sensor's sensitivity would be high enough where you can actually sense that movement. So that's a quick overview of the software. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to your local NEF representative and we'll get back to you shortly. Thanks.